Good morning everyone. <clears throat> Welcome back to another video of Sam Show Farming. Every other day life on the hill farm. Today we are gathering. It's Friday. I've dropped two kids off at nursery. The other two are in school. And me and uh, Sheila are just sat at the bottom of the fell. All the bikes and buggies are taken. And uh, there's four of them on gathering. So, on the other side of the road that we call Wild Boar Fell. It's around 6,000 acre, spread over sort of five people. I think there's five of us in different, you know, along the way. Um, this side, at the moment, there's only us on it. So, and it's a lot bigger. We're talking 10 plus thousand acre. I'm not really sure. They won't have gone right to the bottom, I wouldn't have thought, because they're sort of hefted, so they should be this side, but you never know. So, th so there's four of them gone gathering. They have to go right to the bottom end and come this way, because uh, no one else is gathering that end because there's nobody on it, you see. If there was someone on that end, then they'd gather their half to them, and we'd gather this half this way. But there isn't. So they've gone to do that. We're parked up. We're going to drone it and uh, chase them up. Yeah. So, yeah. Tomorrow we get uh, we're clipping tomorrow, so that's why we're gathering them in today because it might rain overnight. So we do have to probably house them overnight. We don't want them wet when they're clipping them. And um, yeah, there's all sheep work to do when we've done it. So so we'll get them in. Let's go. Red 
So that's all them gathered in. Let's take a closer look at them. See how well they've come off. They usually do really well on that side. Really well. So let's have a look. These are all singles, by the way. And some hogs among them. That's the black lamb we had last year. Do you remember he was going to sell it? <laughs> that previous video, uh, he was going to chuck it out, but I stopped him. So they rub the cells in the peat when they're on a fell. Why do they do that? I'm going to find out. So the ones with lines on a geld, they don't have a lamb on them. Yeah. I think they've done really well. And we do have uh, that full as well. Can't fit them all in. Yeah. Really chuffed. Look at that, guys. Bush chair that's done all five. Bit scuffy, but I've cleaned it. Right, let's go sort some sheep. Two jobs at once. Stop him from going in the shed. Feeding Sheila.
So that's all the sheep sorted for tomorrow's clipping day. All the yows are in there that have lambs. All the hogs and the gel are in here that don't have lambs. And all the lambs are on this side. All sorted, ready for tomorrow. So it might rain, so we might keep them inside. But I'm not sure, and I don't know which is doing first. There's two of them coming to clip. There's some swaddles up there to do, that to go back down there that we brought in yesterday that you saw, and then all these are to do. So hopefully they'll get done in the day. Who knows? But anyway, if it's not going to rain, they can go outside. But. As I say, if it does rain, we'll have to stop in. Yeah, tidy job. And little Sheila's enjoyed herself. Quiet as a mouse. <laughs> I'm sure she'll get used to the sheep and the cows and the noises. So, I'm just putting the trailer on, going for a calf for that cow. Yeah. Right, they're just uh, foot bathing, uh, do, checking the feet. I'm going for the calf, getting some penicillin, getting some clear wormer. So I'm going to do that. But yeah, boy. We've got Sheila's wheels in the car with me. Check book. Let's go. Tyres, slow, slow punctures all the time. Us tyres don't go. We don't mix. That'll do. Let's go. Take two. Love that sound. Psst, like that. I like it. let the calf out. So we've got home haven't we kids? Yeah! Got home and we've got the calf. Been for the calf. It's just a little one but I got it from where I used to work. Lovely people. Really nice. They're the type of people that uh, would be friends for life. So here's our cow. Yeah. Hi cow. Doing well? So I'll wait for Oliver. I think I'll just let it in and see what happens. She might take it, she might not. So, right, let's see what happens. No, no! No, no! No, no! Let it out. At least it's sucking. See how it goes. Jimmy! Push! <laughs> oh, 
water day. So the hogs are just in that bit over there. So we're going to gather them in, put them in the shed, and then everything's in the shed ready to do first. So yeah, yep, busy, busy. Getting ready to rock and roll. I'm just going to check on this cow. Cow will be fine. I'll just show you. So the cow, the cow doesn't want the calf at the minute. She stood to let it suck, so that's a good sign. It's not like bish bash easy, is she even? So we've made a little pen for the calf. Don't know if you can see, but there's a pen there. So um, we just thought that if you pen her up, then she might want it again. Do you know what I mean? So every time she'll be mm, wanting it if we separate them. So we're going to try that. Easiest option, I think. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. But at least she's got a calf on her and the cow's all right. So, yeah, big calf she had. Big calf. Is that our fault? We fed him in the winter a little bit, but um, we just didn't know how that bull gets, you see. Uh, now they're coming, we've not had to carve any of that to, the, to that bull. We've not had to carve any. They've all carved outside fine. So, yeah, just a case of um, the rest. Three more. I think one's gonna calve soon, so we'll have to keep an eye on her. Hopefully it goes well, we'll see. Joys of farming. Right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you could like, share, subscribe, that'd be grand. And I'll see you for the next one. Next one will be clipping. Bye-bye.